Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a few different topics and articles that just came out. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like on today's video. It takes a second, helps me out. And some comments and questions below today's video talking about the topics and articles I'm about to jump into. Also, check out my last video if you guys missed it. I was talking about the Chicago Bulls re signing Stanley Johnson and the whole, I'd say, Sabonis and Miles Turner trade talk and just the Indiana Pacers going towards a full rebuild so let's just jump right into it and before I get my opinion on this whole topic and break it down let me know below today's video if you guys want the Chicago Bulls to trade Patrick Williams that talk has been going on for weeks now especially since he got hurt and the Chicago Bulls might or I'd, I expect them to add size throughout the trade market or on the buyout market for the playoffs coming up also let me know below today's video if you guys think the Chicago Bulls should make a trade, such as trading Patrick Williams and going all in to win a championship now, or should the Bulls keep Patrick Williams and Kobe White and just, I'd say, their young core for the future? I've seen a lot of Bulls fans talking about both those topics on Twitter and Facebook for weeks now. So let's just jump right into it because this article did come out just the other day. And the article did say that a weak Eastern Conference could push the Chicago Bulls to trade an injured Patrick Williams. You know, this topic has been going on for a while now the Chicago Bulls have started the season off very impressive I, I feel like they've surprised a lot of media sources NBA fans and NBA teams and the Chicago Bulls are playing well I'd say without Patrick Williams you know Vooch has been struggling he got COVID Kobe's out with COVID and of course the Bulls have like five players with COVID now and a, and a few Bulls players are also hurt as well so the Bulls are going up against all odds and with that being said on a recent podcast NBA insider Bill Simmons saw this season as an opportunity for the Chicago Bulls to take a win now approach and that does include dealing away Patrick Williams you know he is only 20 years old he was the fourth overall draft pick back in 2020 and Bill Simmons continued and he said if I'm Chicago and I'm looking at it I'm like you know all right Milwaukee they're not playing well yet we know they're going to be there at the end, though. Brooklyn is kind of a mess compared to what people are thinking. You know, I, obviously going into this season, I feel like the Nets were the favorite team to win the championship with the big three they do have. But there's been a lot of problems and drama over there in Brooklyn as well. If I'm the Chicago Bulls, I'm really not afraid of anyone else. And I do wonder, do they put Patrick Williams on the table because he's out for more than likely the year? And are they one piece away from actually winning the finals? You know, I'm for both sides and I hate to be like that. I'm on the fence. You know, I'm all for going in to win a championship now because this Bulls team, who knows how long they got together. You know, DeMar's playing amazing. He is getting up there in age. Same with Vooch. It doesn't help that Vooch is struggling as well. And I'm going to be honest, the Bulls are playing great without I'd say Kobe White and Patrick Williams. So are they really missed that much? Say the Bulls do trade for them. And it's definitely an interesting topic from the Chicago Bulls side. I mean, the East is really winnable right now. I feel like a lot of teams are struggling, especially with the Bulls right now, especially with the whole COVID and injury issues. And the Bulls might find themselves just one piece short of winning the NBA Finals, this article did say. And I know for weeks now, Bulls fans have been wanting the Bulls to make a move, trade for, a, I'd say, a power forward or a backup center. Or I'd say wait for the NBA trade deadline to come around and wait for someone to get bought out and then the Chicago Bulls make a move on them. You know, I've made past videos talking about how there is expectation around the NBA that Christian Wood, who is on his second season of a three-year contract, will receive significant trade interest and the Houston Rockets will be open to trading him. I know a lot of Bulls fans have wanted the Bulls to trade Patrick Williams or Kobe White and go all in right now to to try and win a title including maybe trading for i'd say tristan wood i know there's been some bulls fans that really have wanted the bulls to trade for marvin bagley as well and like I said, I'm all for this. I'm all for going in to win now because I do believe the Bulls, I'd say title chances is maybe this season to maybe two or three. It really just depends how DeMar and Vooch hold up. You know, they both are in their 30s now. And I'm going to be honest, I don't see the Bulls trading, I'd say, Patrick Williams just because he is hurt. And I still do believe the sky is the limit for Patrick Williams. I feel like the only problem holding Patrick Williams back is honestly himself. You know, he is only, only 20 years old. He just turned 20 in August. He is a 6'7 small forward. He was playing the four with the Chicago Bulls before he did get hurt. He weighs 215 pounds. He does have a 7-foot wingspan. You know, he was the fourth pick back in 2020. I know a lot of Bulls fans really like Patrick Williams. I know a lot of Bulls fans really hate him just because he's not that aggressive. 
And I know for his career, you know, he's played limited minutes, but in those limited minutes, you've seen very, I'd say very bright spots. And then at times you don't even notice he's on the court. So that's the big problem with him. I mean, coming out of college, there's been some draft comparisons comparing him to Paul Millsap and some even comparing him to be in the next Kawhi Leonard. But no matter what the Chicago Bulls front office does, I am 100% behind them. I mean, look what they did in just a year and a half or to two years, I'd say flipping this whole roster getting DeMar, getting Vooch, getting Lonzo, getting all the players that they wanted onto this roster. The Bulls have started the season off really strong. I mean, this article just came out the other day, how the Chicago Bulls are urged to go all in with a costly trade to trade for Harrison Barnes. I made a past video talking about that subject as well. You know, one such move, Forbes did agree. He believes the Chicago Bulls should go all in and trade Patrick Williams for Harrison Barnes. You know, I'm not sure if Harrison Barnes is the answer. I'm like Christian Wood, really, but I do believe this Chicago Bulls team could go either way. They could go all in to win a championship now. Depending on how the season is going around, I'd say the NBA trade deadline. Or I could see Arturis keeping Patrick Williams because that is his guy. You know, that's the first player that he drafted with the Bulls. So it wouldn't surprise me if the Bulls did keep him or trade him but no matter what i do see matchups hurting the chicago bulls in the playoffs the bulls need to add size to this roster whether that's on the trade market or how i expect them just to wait for the nba trade deadline to pass and i'd say sign a buyout candidate that is going to get bought out big men are always getting bought out after the trade deadline it's been happening for years now but definitely let me know below to this video if you guys want the Chicago Bulls to trade Patrick Williams or keep him, maybe even Kobe White. You know, should the Bulls go all in to win now, win a title now, or keep their young guys like Kobe and Pat for the future, just in case I'd say this core can't win a championship right now. This whole topic and debate is definitely interesting. It's always fun to talk about if the Chicago Bulls can win a title. You know, just a few years back, the Bulls were tanking every season. I'm just happy that this is the, t I'd say, conversation going on now. If the Chicago Bulls are just one piece away from winning a championship. So definitely let me know below today's video what you guys think about this topic. If the Chicago Bulls should keep their young core for the future. Or if the Chicago Bulls should, tr say, trade Patrick Williams or Kobe White and go all in to win a title now you know i'm definitely going to be interested and i'm going to be reading all the comments to see what you guys have to say about this because honestly i'm 50 50 split i'm on the fence you know i'm down to go all in all in or i'm down to keep the young players i feel like i can really be talked on to each side so definitely let me know below today's video thank you guys for all the love on the past few videos and the channel i really do appreciate it also if you guys are watching this video to the end you're the you're a real one definitely click the first link below today's video and join my discord thank you guys for watching today's video i really do appreciate it have a good one